praise God. Praise God. What is your petition today? Stay with Jesus. Whatever you do, stay with Jesus, I say. Christ, you will not be able to sing glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus.
can heal, I believe you can save, I believe you can do everything. Praise the name of Jesus when you're singing this morning. Lord, I believe. But it says, Savior, rise my faith in thee till it can move a mountain. Praise the name of Jesus. Whatever mountains in our life this afternoon, we are glad that God can do anything. We honor him this afternoon. Because if it hasn't been for him on our side, I don't know where we'll be. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And as we walk in his house today, we don't want to take it for granted. We don't want to just walk in. Amen. Glory to God. Say it's a Sunday and I put my clothes on and I'm coming to church. Praise God because somebody didn't get the opportunity. But as we come in the presence of God today, praise the name of Jesus. We're all going to pray because we want to be a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable to him, which is our reasonable service. Praise the name of Jesus. And as we come here today, amen, we want no plan of Satan to prevail. In the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray for ourselves. Praise the name of Jesus. I have to offer up to him for myself. You have to offer up to God for yourself. Praise the name of Jesus. And if we offer up to him together, working together with one mind, one desire, and one spirit, we are hoping that it will be pleasing unto him. And he in turn will send on the blessing. Brethren, I'm telling you, I was saying to God this morning, it's not easy to connect with God. And believe me, it's not easy. I can always just say a prayer, Sister Annette, and I pray. But there's a time when you pray and you feel God. You feel the connection. You feel the Holy Ghost. You feel that God is answering. You feel that God is listening. Praise God. And we don't want to come in here and worship today and worship amiss. Praise God. Because we don't come here to go to the motions. Because the motion cannot help you in your weakness. The motion cannot help you in your sin. Praise the name of Jesus. But the spirit of God can. So we all going to center our heart and mind on God. Tell God to move every distraction. And that whatever we bring today. And we'll know if it pleases him. Because we'll see the blessing that will fall. Father in the name of Jesus. Father, here I am in your presence, my God. Father, it's no good that I have done, but God, I come. Father, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that my mind, my heart, every part will be centered. Father, God, no distraction, no plan of Satan, no scheme of man. In the name of Jesus, every sabotaging spirit will come against it in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for every one of us that walk in this house today. Whether we are saved or we are backslider, my God Almighty, whether, oh God Almighty, Father, we are a sinner. God, we know, Lord, as we come, we come to you, our Father. You bid us come to your house today. It's not by mere curiosity, my God, but God, you tell us to come, and here we are today, Lord. So in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that our heart will turn. Our heart will look to you. Our heart will exalt you. Our heart will lift you up. That you, God, can get the glory. We pray you visit every mind, every heart, every seat. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Stand at the door, at the gate, in the name of Jesus. Scatter every plan that is not of you. Put us under your subjection. Do a Holy Ghost curfew. And also God, help us to remember we are in your presence. Holy Ghost, we need you right now. Holy Ghost, I need you right now, Lord. Saturate us in your anointing. Father, saturate us in your presence. Because God, yesterday is gone. And right now, Father, we are in need. We look to you and we give you thanks, the most high God. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. At this time, we're going to read our Psalms. Psalms 120 to 134. And our afternoon lesson will be taken from St. John chapter 15. In Jesus. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. 
And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Except it abide in the vine, no more can he except he abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me he can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If he abide in me and my words abide in you, he shall ask what he will and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my father glorified that he bear much fruit, so shall he be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I've kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever he shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that he love one another. If the world hate you, he know that it hated me before it hated you. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had, they had had not, praise God. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me, hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the comforter is come, amen, whom I will send unto you from the father, even the spirit of truth which proceedeth from the father, he shall testify of me. And he also shall bear witness because he have been with me from the beginning. Praise the name of Jesus. You may be seated if you can. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. I honor the spirit of God. Greet my pastor, officers, saints, visiting friends, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. At this time, I'm going to ask, is there anyone here visiting for the first time? If it's the first time you have come to the Hackney Pentecostal Apostolic Church, we would like to greet and welcome you. If you could stand that, we might acknowledge you, please. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. On the behalf of our pastor, Pastor E.M. Douglas, all the officers and saints of the Hackney Pentecostal Apostolic Church, we greet and welcome you. Praise the name of Jesus. You're in your father's house, and he sent you here for a purpose. And I pray that the purpose that he sent you here for, it will be fulfilled in you. 
But as you see us worshiping, worship him. Because he not only died for us, he said he died for the whole world. So you give him glory as you know how to do in Jesus' name. We my, my glory and the lifter of my head. My glory and the lifter of my head. For should have hung down. Praise the name of Jesus. He lift up my head. We're going to have a word from Sister Norma to the church. Praise the name of Jesus. For thou, O oh Lord, you're a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. Praise the name of Jesus. God has been good. the song, my glory and the lifter. I give thanks this morning that I could find myself one more time 
in the house of God. Amen. It's nothing good that I've done, Amen. but of the, because of his goodness and his mercy. God. Oh God, I don't take it lightly when I walk through those doors because I know, I know what God has done for me. I know what he's done for me. I know what he brought me out of. My God, and I just want to continue to lift him up and continue to praise his name as he's been a good God to me. When, when I thought, when I, when I lost, when I lost my dad, I lost my dad, and I love my dad. I love my dad. My dad could never do anything wrong for me. And when he died, oh God, I felt a part of me went. I remember when we went down to bury him. Oh God Almighty. And when I had to go and look at him, oh God, it broke my heart. I could not contain myself. But I thank, I didn't know Christ at the time. I wasn't in the church. So I had to depend on friends and people, you know, around me to see me through. Amen. But when my mother died, my mother died now. My mother died 11 months after. So in the same year. And believe me, God is a good God. believe me, everything went. Because everything went. Because when dad died, I thought, oh, well, we have mom now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when she went, God. God is not everything God. just went. I just, I went wild. I was doing my own thing. Jesus. Because I felt my parents, you know, I loved them here. Yes. Yes. And they were no more. I felt, oh, well, what, what, what is it? Yes. What is it? I had my children. But anything, I could always run back to my parents. My mom was always there for me. My dad was there for me. So when they both died, it's like everything, my world fell apart. Amen. But I give God thanks Amen. that I come to know Christ. Praise God. I come to know Christ. Yes. And then after that, I lost my husband. Oh, you're in I lost my husband. Oh, you're in but I was in God at that time. Amen. And I thank God. I thank God for my pastor. Amen. I thank God for Pastor Douglas. Yes, amen. Because amen. she was my rock. Praise him. She was my rock. Even when I was at home, she would ring and she'd leave little voice mail on the phone yes, just to cheer me up. Praise God. Just to cheer me up. And I, I, whenever I come in and I play, I did. It really did lift me. Because, you know, just to hear her voice, Amen. just to hear her voice, it really lifts my spirit. Amen. My God, and also the brethren. The brethren, they've been good to me because, Amen. you know, I, you know, they did what they could, you know, to cheer me up and that. But, you know, when you lose your loved one, and no matter what people are saying to you, they're talking, but you're not hearing what is not connecting. It's not connecting. But I give God thanks. Praise God. I give him thanks that I'm still in his house. Amen. I know that I am not at the place that he want me to be. Oh, but be I am trying my best. Praise and I'm God. holding on. I've got nowhere else to go. I've got nowhere else to go. Because I'm in God's house. And Amen. there is where I'm going to stay. Amen. As the song said, under his almighty Amen. wing. Praise that's God. where Amen. I mean to Amen. stay. Under his almighty will. Amen. Pray for me because I mean well in Jesus' name. We are never, never weary of the grand old song. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We can sing it loud as ever with our faith.
Jesus. We're going to have a word from Sister Kerian Davis to the church. Sister Kerian, with an exaltation in Jesus' name. We have a right, brethren, to shout and sing. We have a right to give him praise. Yes, we have a right to glorify God. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. I give honor to the Spirit of God, my pastor. Praise God. I want to give God thanks for life. Thank him for health. Thank him for strength and for keeping me. Praise God. One of another. Amen. Brethren, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. Amen. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Yes. Who art thou that thou judgest another? Amen. Praise God. And when I was reading, I was just reading these two verses, you know, we, we were going through the scriptures in Bible class on Thursday and you know the word is, is, is clear and it's easy to understand it's simply saying to us that we must not judge one another Amen. you know somewhere in Bible in, in Matthew also said that judge not that they be not. judge yeah. of the very same thing and you know you know brethren in this salvation we have to be very careful of what we say what we do Amen. because somebody may be down today they may be doing something that is not according to the law and the word of God. But you know, every day we rise in perfection. Amen. You know, the Bible said that we must strive to be holy, for he is holy. Amen. You know, we must strive to be righteous because God is righteous. Amen. You know, righteousness is not, it doesn't come overnight, brethren. We can't wake up and be righteous in one day. We can't baptize and be righteous that very, that very hour, that very minute. You know, if we have to work towards it. You know, if God knows our heart and our heart is clean, our heart is pure, and we want to do the right things, God will help us. Amen. But if we walk around judging one another with ill intentions in our mind, in our heart, you know, our praise, our service is not acceptable to God. You know, I'm, you know I want to take the scripture for myself that I won't judge anyone because I don't know the situation of somebody's heart. I don't know the situation of somebody's life, nor do they know mine. But it's important for us to pray together, to strive together to walk in unity in the body of Christ as we go in Jesus' name. Jesus, I'm going to call the choir to come together so we can sing a song. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. What? What a friend we have. Friend we have. We have in Jesus. In Jesus. Oh. Of all sins and grief to bear.
Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. 
sins and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry. Not just some, but everything to God in prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, all our peace, we have time for it. All our needless pain we bear. Why? All because we do not carry. Glory to God. Everything to God in prayer. What we cannot tell our mothers, what we can't tell our sisters, what we cannot tell our husbands, what we cannot tell our children, we can take it to God in prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. And you know what? He's an answering God. Praise the name of Jesus. He is an on-time God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sometimes all you have to say, God, I need you now. And he turn up just in time. And we are here to say to somebody today, you don't have to carry it by yourself. Glory to God. That sorrow, that burden, the heartache, that pain. God is saying, take it to him in prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. And he mean anywhere you are. I am so glad for the almighty God. That he brought down that middle wall of partition. That we can boldly come to him wherever we are. Whether you're in the market at home. Anywhere you are. You can come to the Lord Jesus. Because he will never leave you. And he'll never forsake you. We'll have a word from Evangelist Campbell. And then after which we'll collect our day's offering. In Jesus name. Let's praise the Lord. Praise God. God is a good God. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise God. God. Greetings to my pastor, each and every one, in Jesus' name. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cry out, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. I'm thanking God for his saving grace this morning. Nothing good I've done, but it's only because of his grace and his mercy why I'm standing in his house today. And truly, God is a good God. This morning I was indoors, and as I was indoors and going about, Esther came into my heart. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I was thinking about Esther. And I was thinking when she had a pity, when she wanted something for her people. And when she, when they fast and pray, and Esther went into the courtyard, she, she went there, but she didn't know what would happen. But she went there by faith. And the king asked Esther what she needs. What is your petition? Praise God. And Esther was able to offer up that petition. Praise God. And if you're in here today, God is saying, what is your petition today? Praise, Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What is your petition today? Praise, Praise God. Praise, Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise if it's salvation, Praise it's in here today. Yes. Praise God. And if it's healing, God is able to heal. Yes. If it's deliverance, yes. God is able to deliver. And whatever your petition is today, if you just offer it up, and God will come through for you. In Jesus. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the power of the Holy Ghost, just as the prophet spoke. This is the day of the Lord's grace. Christ is coming in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the
Whatever the yoke is, the anointing is in the house. Praise the name of Jesus. Whatever the yoke is today, the anointing is in the house. Praise the name of Jesus. Whatever you need from him, he's in the house. Praise the name of Jesus. We're going to have an exaltation from Mother Lake. Somebody here needs to know that God saved and he keeps the young and he keeps the old. Praise the name of Jesus. We need to know that he's not partial. It's not because we're young, but he keeps everyone. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless our Lord. Bless our Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. say give me a clear mind that it will have an effect on your people I greet the church everyone it would take days to number everyone and greet everyone by one but at this moment I'm glad to be alive hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. As we just sang, God is a good God. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. As someone has said before, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, Amen. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I couldn't number them, the things he's done for me. I'll just be happy to say thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's enough. And so today I'm standing here by the grace of God. It's no goodness that I've done. It's by his grace. He sees fit, hallelujah, to grant me, hallelujah, 93 years. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No, I don't want you to think I've been holy all at 93 years. Because sometimes I wonder, the world that has gone in the flood, I wonder if this world is like it or if we are worse. Hallelujah. The things that's happening in the world at this moment, I check to find if the world that has perished was better than this one or worse. Mm. Hallelujah. You can't go out the street without taking out an insurance mm. because you're not sure you're coming back, so you get on your knees. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will just like to speak about just a, for just a few minutes. Hallelujah. And this lady, she was married to Elkana, or, or whatever, call him what you like. But she was barren. I mean, Anna. Anna yes. Hallelujah. But they would go somewhere to have their meetings and get together, as it were. Thank you, Jesus. But, <laughs> hallelujah. Anna was always crying. She couldn't go around and tell the neighbors why she was crying. She talked to Jesus. Amen. Now it's like us. I don't want to stand here and tell you about Jesus. I want to know him Amen. for myself. I don't want to give you all the goodies. And when the service is over, I'm still hungry. 
No. We must share this thing. And there are people sitting in the congregation who could do with a little encouragement. Yes. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. God can fix it for you, whatever it is. Hallelujah. And you, you don't have to go through a whole lot of things. Just take your burden to the Lord Amen. and leave it there. Praise God. Don't take it to the Lord and when you're going out, you decide to take it back. Mm. Take your burden to the Lord Amen. and leave it there. He knows yes. whatever we are going to say to him, it doesn't matter how bad it is. He already knows. Yes. But if we have the boldness, hallelujah, to draw near and don't dress it up. No. Tell him the way it is. Amen. I mean, if, 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 if we go to him when we say to him, Lord, I, I took something from such and such a place, or I did such and such. But you know, I'm glad, I'm glad they don't know. They don't know, but he knows. Amen. Whatever we do, there's an eye. Ha hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Whatever we Amen. do, saints of the most high God, there's an eye, an all-seeing eye watching us. Before the thought even takes shape in our minds, he knows. He knows everything. And he can cure and fix everything. Amen. And so as I say at this moment, saints of God, I thank God for his mercies. I'm trying to make everything right because at this age, I mean, the song said, I don't know about tomorrow. Amen. I just live from day to day. Nothing at all. Hallelujah. Nothing is good but thinking about the Lord Jesus Christ and his word. We have to get into the word to live by the word. That is true. Because if we, if we are not living by the word, the enemy is broadcasting all the time. <laughs> Somebody said how he managed to tempt so many people. He broadcasts in the air. Yes. And most times we tune in to him. Jesus, help me Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I said we tune in to him. Yes, Jesus. You could be saying something good and lovely, and before you know it, mm. you don't know where that thought is coming from. It's true. Amen. It just gets in your mind as if someone threw it at you. It's true. That's the enemy. He's got a station and he's broadcasting, and he knows every language. Yes, he does. Every language he knows. What am I saying? I'm saying what we need to do. He's don't look at the other brother or sister Amen. only to help each other on our way. Amen. But look to Jesus. Yes. Because when our eyes are on someone else yes. trying to point out their fault, mm -hmm. there's an eye that watching. Amen. The man lent his friend some money. Mm -hmm. They both work with the same employer. Yes, but when the time came, he didn't have to pay. He went to the employer and told him to wait on him a while yes. and he will pay him. Yes. Now what do you think? The time came when it's vice versa. Yes. It goes the other way around. But when the man who forgave him, yes. hallelujah, hold him and wanted a little time to pay, and he didn't, even, he didn't even know him as much as he owed the no. man who forgave him. him by the choker. But he grabbed the man. By the mm. And when the man said, please, please, give me a little time. Mm. And I'll pay you. Amen. He said, I want it now. Mm. Otherwise, I'm going to put you in prison. The people heard and went to the man who employed them all. Yes. And told him about these two. Yes. And what they were getting up to. And do you know, the man said, 
you wicked servant. Mm. We are all sitting here. And we would sooner think something bad about someone than something good. If we have not got the spirit in us. Thank you, Jesus. We need the spirit. Yes, And those of us who are baptized, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We need to carry on. Don't look behind. There's no use to look behind. And those who are contemplating baptism, do it the right way. Amen. Because I'll tell you this now, and here and now, the time is short. Yes. The time is short. Yes. Huh? Amen. The time is short, brethren. You don't know which of us we won't see. There was, a, there was an elderly lady, elderly like myself, sitting over there. She's not there anymore. Amen. She's gone to get her rest. May God help her that she had made it in. Amen. Today it's not too late. You're not too young. Nor you're not too old. Friends will turn their back on you. You will have good friends and as soon as you chose Jesus, they have you sent to a madhouse because they say you are mad. Why? Because you're different. Yes. Everything about you is different. Amen. Amen. When we come to Jesus, if we are ugly, he does something to it make us the image he wants us to be like. Amen. You know, he's that kind of God. And so today I'm saying those of you who have a mind to change your address, don't. Stay with Jesus. Whatever you do, stay with Jesus, I say. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have to go out to the corner here and kneel down and pray that the passers-by can see what you're doing. No. You can be in this crowd, and while you sit there, you're praying. Amen. And the person beside you don't know what's happening between you and Jesus. You're having a great business going on there with Jesus. Amen. Because something troubled you this morning in your mind when you leave home and you said, I'm going to help me, you know. I'm going to that church down there and I'll get them to pray for me or I'll pray for myself. But whatever you do, don't take your mind off Jesus. Amen. He will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because they trust in him. God bless you. In Jesus' name, pray for me. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. God is telling us in everything, acknowledge him. And he shall and will direct our path. Greeting our pastor, greeting you, ma'am. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I want us to stand and sing this song, brethren. Praise the name of Jesus. Time clock is striking the hour. Time clock is striking the hour. Jesus will soon descend. Clothed in the garments of power. The rain of sin to end. Then will this and the be regained. Life to a mighty flood. Then round the throne we'll be singing. Glory and 
striking the hour and Jesus will soon detain but when he said glory glory to God he said thus will the ransom sing praise the name of Jesus so if you are not in God and Christ you will not be able to sing glory to God praise the name of Jesus and if somebody is here today who don't know that God is God and that Jesus can save you He's sending here to, to let you know that he saves, he keeps, and he's satisfied. So when we are singing, time clock is striking the hour. We are not just singing it because of a song. We are telling us, each and every one of us, reminding ourselves that Jesus is on his way. And when we are singing glory, glory to God, he said, thus will the ransom sing. It's the ransom that's going to sing glory to God. Amen. Praise him. Praise the Lord. If you're not ransom, amen, amen, you cannot sing glory to God. Amen. Praise God. That's a glory to the everlasting king. Then he said, praise him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You know why? Because they know that they are ransom. So they say, praise him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Praise him. Praise him. Yes, we're not singing it because it's just a song. But we want to be ready. That way we say, praise him. Hallelujah. Because he who has saved us, he who has washed us, we can behold him and say, praise him. We can say glory to God. Praise God. If you are not saved, you can't say glory to God. You will not be saying hallelujah. And even if you cry out for mercy, it will be too late. Yes, run for your life now. Don't let too late be your cry. Somebody, 
God sent you here today to turn. God, don't wish none to perish. But you have a choice today. Glory to God. It's either you can redeem and sing praise him. Hallelujah. Around that day, you cannot say, Lord, have mercy. But you can say it now. Praise him. On that day, you can't say, God, forgive me. But you can say it now. Yes, the altar is still here for you, somebody. Do not waste your life. We were born to serve God. Amen. Praise him. Amen. He said, and for his pleasure, we were created. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. And if God sent you in here today, yes. God sent you here for a purpose. Yes. And he let you hear the song to say, all oh, the ransom will be saying glory, glory to God. Yes. So he's saying, come, somebody come. Yes. We just want to pray for you. We're not going to baptize you. We want to pray for you. That God will reach your heart. Praise him. That God can cover you. That you don't die in your condition. We don't want too late Jesus to be your cry. Praise him. Don't be too proud to walk to the altar. Praise the name of Jesus. When God had his extended come. Come somebody, get up and come to God. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise God. Now Jesus, yes, come to Jesus. He's the only one that can deliver. He will not turn his back on you, he's not man. Man will write you off, but Jesus said come. Praise him no matter what you've done. You can't go too far where God can pull you out. Praise the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar that tell you, no, you can't do this and you can't do that. You can't do it for real. But God can do it. You can't do nothing. We read the scripture today. St. John chapter 15, he said, without me, you can do nothing. Praise the name of Jesus. You can't help yourself. Somebody, you can't help yourself. Every time you try to stop, you go back in it. You stop, you go back in it. But Jesus can stop you. Praise the name of Jesus. All of us here, we weren't like this. If you hear some of our testimonies, you wouldn't believe. Amen. But God did it for us. Amen. And because he did it for us, we don't want you to die in your condition. Amen. Come to Jesus, somebody. If you walk in the church, you can walk to the altar. Praise the name of Jesus. God can do it. There's nothing too hard. Oh, let Jesus Amen. fix it for you. Just let me 
of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Only person that can fix is Jesus. And if you allow him, you'll be surprised what he will do for you. Praise the name of if there's anyone that is here and they did not get welcome and they came in after I did all the welcome, you're welcome in your father's house. Praise the name of Jesus. Anybody that came here for the first time, we greet you in the name of Jesus on behalf of our pastor, Pastor E.M. Douglas, the officers and saints of the Hattie Pentecostal Apostle Church, we welcome you. Praise the name of Jesus. We'll be stopping here, but at this time, I'm going to ask Brother Howard to come forward with the announcement. God bless you. Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. We thank God for his mercies that are new every morning. The song says, great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Had it not been for God's mercy, none of us would be alive. Amen. Thank God for the words of life. Thank God for the song. I was saying we are waiting for our translating. And it's only for those who have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible said we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. And we'll change from mortal to immortality, the Bible said, in the twinkling of an eye. And that is a translating moment for those who are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. So we say today, escape the wrath of God and be saved today. Because we want you to be in that number. When they crown him King of Kings. When they crown him Lord of Lords. We want to be in that number. And uh, we thank God for his words and thank God for his love. Just to remind you that we have a schedule here. That uh, Tuesday we have our service here at 7.30pm. Wednesday we have our prayer meeting here at 7.30pm. Thursday, we have our Bible study here at 7.30 p.m. We're back on Sunday for Sunday school at 11 o'clock. Our day worship is at midday, and our evening worship is at 6 p.m. Also, just to remind that every Wednesday from uh, 9 a.m., we have a coffee morning here every Wednesday. So we ask you to come up, please, and support in Jesus' name. And also, this Saturday will be the luncheon at 12 o'clock. So again, it's a missional tool for the church. We invite people just to come and Get to know the church and fellowship with us and have some food on the house in Jesus' name. And also, uh, just to remind, uh, if I just might want the church to know that she's away, just keep her in prayers, please, in Jesus' name. And that being said, God bless you all. God take you safely. And please, as you leave the church, please take your litter with you. If not, there's a bin at the back, please, in Jesus' name. And greet each other with a holy kiss in Jesus' name. <laughs>